beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. Happy Bling Bling Sunday. I had to put my mermaidy color jacket on and of course it's all blingy for today's Bling Bling. I apologize for not having a Bling Bling in the last little while, but my life is just crazy. So anyways, we're gonna get back at it. Our trailer is done within the next week or two. So we'll be back home and I am so excited to get back to normalcy, which is um, awesome for me and for you guys. So today I'm going to do a glitterific, stupendously amazing mermaid tail on a painting that I previously poured. So I will link the um, in the description box and it will be in one of the end cards where you can just hit the video of me doing the actual paint pouring of the previous, how I got to the base of my canvas. So with that, I'm going to, I don't normally do this, but I'm doing the end of the video, the beginning of the video at the end. I'm recording it before I, <laughs> after I made the video. So I'm going to give you a little glimpse at what is to come. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is what we're making. Enough. You have to wait now. So with that, my friends, I'm going to get my working clothes on. I'm going to get out of my glitterific jacket. I bought this and I haven't worn it yet. So I may have to wear it sometime to work. So anyways, I'll see you guys when I got my working clothes on and all my supplies together. And I'll be right back. Hello, we're back. So today we are going to do this amazing, um, I'm going to do a mermaid tail on top of one of my pores that I did. So I will link the video in the description box and it will be at the end, in the end card on this painting. Okay, I think it looked kind of cute. I tried to do my balloon smash again, but I think this would be awesome to have this mermaid tail. These are just silhouettes I printed off. I had a whole bunch of different little tails to try, but I kind of like this one. So I got a bunch of different versions. So maybe we could, oh, I never thought of that. Maybe we could do a mummy and a baby. I think two would be too many. So we're gonna put one. We're gonna do it kind of in the center. I'm gonna take it so that it's off the canvas. And then, yeah, I think that's a good spot right there. So I have my um, transfer paper. We're gonna stick that in here. Once I decided where I'm gonna put it. And you know, the little thing is cut off, but you can fix that. I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape on the corners. Just to hold it while I trace it. And I'm not doing the little pattern. I'm just doing um, yeah, I think that's good. I'm just doing the um, just the basic outline. I'm gonna need to turn it this way so I can make sure it's straight. Not like it matters, but I want this to line up with this. Perfect. And then, of course, on Bling Bling Sunday, we have to have a Bling Bling pen. Dollar Tree, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to outline my mermaid tail. And we need to make that a point, so we're going to come like this. And this is a guideline, guys. You are obviously going to Try to stay within it. And then here we go. Let's see. I can't see 
where the body is. Oh, here we go. Okay, let me, the body's not very big. Let me get, I bought this multi-pack and it has colored. So let me get a, there should be a white one in here. Piece of, Racing paper, and I'm just gonna redo this part so I can see it. I don't know, this feels weird. Oh, I guess it did. Enough for me to see. It's weird. It feels like wax paper more so, but I can see it does give me a better outline. And this will come to there. And that will come to there. Okay. I'll just keep this on my side so I can reference. So that's that. Let me just get my stuff out of the way. All right. So we are, as always, using to put on the mermaid, we're gonna put Tri Art Liquid Down Liquid Glass as a base. Now, you can use. I find they don't work for me. This is what I like to use. But if you can't get this, you can use. Options are, you can use Elmer's glue. You can use um, Mod Podge, Mod Podge, but make sure it's the thick kind and make sure you put a good coat on. I, like I said, I've had issues where I find it didn't work for me, but I've had other people comment and say that they use it all the time. So that's fine. So we're gonna use this as a base and you could even use resin guys. This is the base. This is my tri liquid glass. I have these shells, pretty sure they came from Laura. And then I have this um, mermaid tails glit. Oh, of course, I didn't even read the name, but that's going to be the glitter, the chunky. And then I've got a combinations of, of blues and like diamond teal. So we're going to put those in there as well. And we're going to use my blue decorative filler from Michaels and the white silver filler from Michaels. So we're going to do a combination. So what I'm thinking, I'm going to put the stones down or maybe keep the stones in the body or stones in the tail. We'll figure it out as we go. You know how that is. All right. So here we go, guys. We're just going to outline. I love putting it in the squeeze bottle. I'll make sure it comes out first. Yep. So I'm just going to outline what I drew and then we're going to fill it in. And again, if you go over it, so be it. You'll just have a bigger mermaid tail. And here. You just want to make sure you cover that line that you drew. Perfect. You could get fancy dancy and actually do the scales and stuff but i'm just we're just gonna go basic and basics today now we can play with this again because i have another painting that i think would have been better but i couldn't find the video that i did the painting in which is weird because everyone has a video i'll show it to you once we get everything on here A beautiful swipe which I think would have been pretty 
I apologize for not having a bling bling. Oh my goodness, my life is just so ri ridiculously crazy. Um, it's now going to start to slow for me. Well, not slow. I'm still going to be working a lot, but I won't be doing all the travels because the hubby will be coming home. So, and I'm excited. I have a video. I'm hoping it turns out the video because my upstairs, since my son moved out, it was an opportune time to do a custom order that I have for my cousin. I don't do very many custom orders because, again, I have a hard time with time management and stuff. I hate to commit to things that I might not be able to do. So anyways, long story short, my cousin asked me to make this geode for her living room because she moved. And it's a two foot by two foot canvas times three. So it's my kitchen table is now in the middle of my living room. I've got it all taped off like a a crime scene and I'm almost at the end of it. I'm so excited. So I've been trying to do that and then still make videos and work. So I apologize guys. All right, there we go. And you want to bring it to the edge, but I don't want it to go over. And this is the, um, this is the pour paint. So it's already got Pretty sure this is the one from Michaels that I used. I could be wrong, but it's like again, it's in the video. All right. I think we'll do. I don't know, big decisions, guys. These shells are gorgeous. I think I'm just gonna do the shells in the bottom. You want to lay them flat. You don't want them to be. And then I'm going to come in around it with Get all these different colors in there. I'm going to bring in the glass and then we'll just do the tail with the glass. If I can get more of these little pinkies in here somewhere. Of course, the pink went where I wanted the blue, and the blue went where the pink went. Always. There we go. Okay, so that's good. I'm now going to put down my blue glass. We just want to have a little bit of sparkles. And this blue is really nice and chunky, kind of like the gold from Michael's. So I'm going to try to go a little sparing with this one and then we'll come in with the silver. Just want to make sure it's all kind of this part, I want it all kind of laying flat, so <clears throat> it can take the glitters and it'll take a hold better if you leave it flat. There. I think, I think, I think. Maybe a little bit right in here. There. Maybe one there. <laughs> There's always, and one more. So I'll put the lid on that. And now we're gonna come in and this is the cohesive part. This will be all the same. We'll fill it in with this. I'm gonna actually try and get a cup and see if it'll sprinkle. Uh, old school, let's just do the hands, guys and this is going to fill in the rest. The only thing I don't like about this one is you get that white on it. It looks like 
basically, my personal opinion, these are mirrors all broke up because only reason why it would explain the white on the back. Because if you look at a mirror, it's either silver painted or it's white on the back. So. And, oh, I'm disappointed because that's all I'm getting is the whites. Okay, so this is good. Oh. You could take the time and flip everything over, but oh, everything is just such a pain. Okay, so that's that. Now we're gonna come in with my glitters. I have, um, we'll do Chunky first. And this is the mermaid, mermaid's tail. How convenient. Oh, shoot. It's kind of hard when it's in these little containers. And they're so slippery. And you want to make sure you cover everything because anything that you see with that liquid glass, it'll be shiny. I'm going to actually just come heavy with this one. And then I'll come in with one of the, the tealy blues. Okay, so that's that. And I can see, let's just push everything in so it, it catches against that line that you have. And what I'm finding here is the bottom isn't catching very well. I'm just going to spread it out. Oh. Here I can kind of see the line a little here. So now I'm going to come back because that's, I'm going to do this tealy. This is the diamond teal. I'm going to do that one from Laura's Art Corner. And this is the fine one that'll hopefully stick in. Where all the other stuff is not. Awesome. Oh, I can still. That's crazy. I can still see the lines. I'm going to come around and do kind of heavy on the edging. And again, this stuff doesn't get wasted, my friends. We're going to probably do another mermaid tail because I think this is the coolest idea. I'll bring you over the painting that I wanted to do it on, but I couldn't find the video. So let me know if you want me to do it on it. Even if I don't have the video, because I don't know why I don't have it. So I have a question. People have been asking a question. I'm just going to let you know. My nails. I get them done. And this is just a um, chrome polish. So I took five different shades of variated, like, greens and blues. This one's a really, this one's, like, almost this dark, deep blue. And then they painted the nails and then they put the chrome powder on top and the chrome powder is the same color. So it just adhered. Yeah, I thought it was kind of cool. All right, so I'm going to grab my painting. It is right back in here behind me. And I thought that this one would be awesome with the mermaid tail on it because it looks like the ocean. So if you want me to do one on this, let me know. And that'll be another video. See, this is already varnished. But I, I can't believe I don't have a video for this. So anyways, we're going to let this dry. And hopefully 
it'll be beautiful. It'll be glitterific anyways. So I'll see you back, guys, when it's time to shake, shake off. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Hello, we are back. This is dry. That's why I like this Triart liquid glass. It has been maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours, and it is dry. I'm impressed. All right, let's get done. I like to turn my puppy pads upside down because it is shiny and you are able to get the glitter off a little better than if you just had it on the other side of the puppy pad. So here we go, guys. I'm excited to see how this turned out. Oh my goodness, this is freaking adorable! I want to get the little bits and pieces that come apart. Like that looks like that looks like bubbles. That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. I'm not too worried. There's a couple little pieces of glitter, that I, but I do want to get the glass off. There, that's not quite... A little bit of glitter there, but you know what? That could be bubbles. That could be bubbles. What in the heck? The color combination is amazing. There you go guys oh my goodness that is freaking adorable I'm gonna put it behind me on my shelf and we're gonna do a close-up so I'll be right back guys oh my goodness this is so adorable I am impressed how this turned out I love it I love everything about it love the colors you can see the amazing um, shells now you don't see them a whole lot so I don't know whether I whether I would might put them in there next time because I don't want to lose that amazing unless you're strict well you can see them here strategically place them on the top maybe but this is freaking amazing try this out guys it is so easy all you need to do is get yourself a silhouette trace it like I said I got mine off of um, I just googled mermaid tail silhouettes and this is what popped up. So freaking cool. So anyways, I hope you enjoy today's video. Um, this painting, I will link it. It is me using um, the Color Pour Premix paints from Walmart that I purchased. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I am sorry for the long, long, not having very many bling blings, but we're going to get back at it. So with that, if you liked what you see here today, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing, helping me get to my next YouTube um, milestone of 100,000 subscribers. And again, like I said, everything I use today would be linked in the description box. And with that, here's my long-winded exit, my friends. So I have the links to where to purchase Tri-Art Liquid Glass, which we used here today. I have the links to where to purchase Julie Cuts Molds. I have the links to where to purchase Fundy Molds, Molds and Shapes. I also have the links to where to purchase um, Crystal Resin with my discount code of Sherry molten five capital s i have my uh two amazing larez distributors i have michelle from artworks resin canada my canadian um larez distributor and go check out her website she's got many more things than just the glitters and she's got everything else with my discount code of sherry molten 10 capital s capital m and the amazing laura from laura's art corner where all the products i use today the glitters the stones the everything um my discount code for laura is all capital letters sherry molten 10 with that i have my paypal link if you choose to donate and help support my channel my crafting addiction 
and I'm an Amazon affiliate so the links that I do put in I do get a little bit of a commission so with that my amazing people I will see you in the next one love you guys happy bling bling Sunday